Welcome to Gazroth Tutorials. I'm Gazroth, and today we're going to look at player events. First off, we need to go into build mode and grab a script gizmo. Open it up, change the name. We're just going to call this player events. And then we're going to find our player events. So over on the right, go to events, scroll down to player events, and we have four. When trigger is entered by player, when trigger is exited by player, when player enters the world, and when player exits the world. These four events will allow us to run code when these things happen. So when we enter or exit a trigger or when the player enters or exits the world. Two of them require a trigger, so we'll grab a trigger gizmo. We'll just place it down here and just make it about the size of the player. And then we can grab a cube just to put behind it for some visual indication. We're going to attach this script to our trigger and make sure it's enabled and trigger on players. We're also gonna grab a text gizmo. We're gonna place it right above our cube. We're going to need a reference for our text gizmo. So we're gonna go over to new variables, create an object type Call it text and then we'll need to attach our text to that variable and now we can display text based on what the player is doing so in order to display text we go to actions scroll down to text and display text and I'm just going to place one in all of them and then attach our text gizmo to the display text code block. But we need a plus sign first because we're going to add to it and put our string variable. And then we need the name of our player. So we'll just go down to player variables under operators and we'll grab name of player, drop that in there, and then our player variable. Alright, so now when our player enters that trigger, it will display name of player plus enter trigger on that text box. When the player exits that trigger, it'll say name of player plus exited trigger. Oh, I forgot my period. When the world is entered by the player, it'll display name of player plus entered world. And then when the player exits, it'll display name of player plus exited the world. So to test this out, we're just going to push up to go into preview mode. Now it says Gallimore entered world. Um, Gallimore is the name of my DJ account. Now we're going to walk into the trigger. Enter trigger. Now I'm going to leave the trigger. Exited trigger. Now I'm going to go into build mode, which will fire player exited world. So now it says Gallimore exited world. Things I like to do when world is entered by player, I will like to add them to like a VIP list based on name. So I might have a string list. So if I go in here, create a list of a string list, we'll just call it like VIP or something like that. And then I would just add in the name. It has to be spelled the exact same with uh, capitalization and everything it has to be the same. So now when the player, when world is entered, I can say if, go down to lists under operators, list contains, so if our VIP string list contains name of player, we can display that else, we can display name of player plus is VIP and then we can put down here as is not VIP so now for my avatar let's reset the world quick enters the world it'll say Gallimore is VIP because Gallimore is on this string list. Now, if I were to remove Gallimore, reset it, 
and go in. Now it's going to say is not VIP. So this is a simple way of having a list of VIPs that you can add. And then you can add to that string list while you're in publish mode if you have something like a sword that only you can grab. And then you touch somebody and you're like, well, that person that just collided with the sword, you can get their name added to the list. Another thing I like to do when a player enters the world is I like to do a pop-up for everyone. So show pop-up for all players. And then I could say name of player plus is here and then I can turn off the sound turn off the timer and now when I hit reset and jump in it'll show up Gallimore is here now everybody will get this pop-up and that is just a couple things that you can do with the player events so that is all of the player events there are several other ways of getting the player variable that I have covered in other videos. So for instance, we have collision events. We can get when uh, colliding with player. There are projectile events. So when projectile hits player, there is grab events. When object is grabbed by player and attachable events. So when object is attached to the player and when achievement is completed and just to Demonstrate one more time. Not a VIP. Gallimore is here. Gallimore entered trigger. Back up. Exited trigger. Go out of the world. And it says Gallimore exited. We're going to go over the script one more time. When trigger is entered by player, we're just going to display the name of the player plus entered trigger on our text object variable, which is our text down there that says Gallimore exited world. When trigger is exited by a player, we're displaying name of player plus exited trigger on that text object. When world is entered by player, we are displaying a pop-up with the name of player plus is here. There's a bunch of different variables that you can adjust and we have turned off the sound and the timer. We're also checking if the VIP string list that we have created in our variables, which I have removed gallon more from, we are checking to see if the name of the player that entered, if any of the names are in this list, it'll display name of player plus is VIP on that text box. Else, it'll display name of player plus is not VIP on that text box. Then when the world is exited by the player, we're displaying name of player plus exited world on that text box. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns about this video or have suggestions for a future video, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you liked the video or if you learned something, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you're notified of all my future videos. I'm planning on a video a week. I have been making that since the new year, and hopefully we can continue on at that speed. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.